Chess friends, for today's video we will show you the 7000 ELO rated game between Stockfish and Alpha Zero. I upgraded my engine UCI into 200 threads with 12 GB RAM performance, now my device can run up to 7000 ELO rated engine. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it, let's get started, I kicked things off with E4, we have E5 and I choose the Vienna opening which is called Max Lang Defense, Bishop c5 and queen h4 to target the pawn, so g6 and black's idea is to play d5 to target the bishop with a discover attack to the queen, so queen g3 knight f6 d3 and he played knight h5 tactically, queen f3 and alpha castled on the short side despite the weakness in these holes. His strategy is to play king g7 then f5 in future if desirable, knight d4 8's coming so I played knight e2, knight a5 to target the important bishop, I plant a tactic with bishop h6, if you try to save the rook, let's say rook e8, then we will capture the pawn on f7, king h8 then g4, rook e7 to protect the g7 square, therefore we will do queen exchanges on f8 and now look at the position, you will lose your material. The greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude, so back to the position, we have knight g7, h4 to play h5, I want to break the h file, alpha takes the bishop first, takes d6 h5, if you are a Gothamchis follower and play like a 200 elo rated bot, let's say bishop e6, then knight d5 will come, you may play c6 to kick out the knight then knight f6 check will come, king here pawn takes g6. Threatening to capture the knight to target the pawn with a check, it will be a checkmate in 6 moves, f takes g7 bishop takes check king takes and rook takes h7 will be a checkmate. Life and chess isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself, so back to the position, alpha 0 is a stockfish subscriber so be closed the position with g5, long castle f6 knight g3 rook f7 bishop captured king takes bishop knight check, capturing the knight is not considered the best move because after e takes f5, you are gonna lose the pawn, you may play c6 then knight e4 will come to target the bishop, the d-pawn is pinned so bishop e6 can be played by a 2000 rated human. But there is brilliant rook takes d6 move, queen run away then we will create a rook battery, rook d8 h6 check, takes rook check, king backs queen h5, threatening to mate in one, so queen g8 knight takes pawn, the queen is under attack which is why black has to take the knight, queen takes check king here rook takes f6, King e7 rook takes h7, sacrificing the h7 rook to play rook h6 discover check, king backs rook takes queen and that's it, checkmate is coming in millions of ways. Be yourself, everyone else is already taken, so back to the position, alpha move back his king, h6 bishop e6 b3 a6, alpha want to break my Moran hill structure so I played a6, preventing b5, bishop check king here, and after couple of moves later, we have knight a4 queen b7 queen d3 rook b8 king a2, to target the bishop, so bishop backs g4, bishop b7 rook b1, my position is well structured by my pawns, knights have a great outpost, to control black's key squares and look at the opponent's position, the dark chocolate bishop is controlling many important squares and the light bishop is targeting to my knights, so how and where do I open the position to start the attack? Observe my strategy in every moves, king g8 and I played rook d1, first, putting the rook in a key file, a5 and I complete my structure with f3, bishop e6 and I slide my queen to play rook d5 after queen a6, I offer him for a rook exchange and if you dare to capture the rook, let me show you the variation, this strong pawn structure is actually unbreakable, the black rook can't enter my area because the position is closed, so I'll stand my knight for tactical advantage and I'll eliminate the bishop to have full control over black's key squares like in the previous video where I showed how Magnus did pieces exchanges to get a knight outpost, if you haven't watched that video, you can go to my channel, and watch the video where I explain the top 5 secrets that grandmasters know but you don't, we have c6 to trap the rook, so I sacrificed the rook, takes knight takes bishop, rook e7 rook d1, I want to push the pawn and play knight f5 if needed. Bishop here queen e3 and we have queen c5, my tactic is to play knight c8 and knight b6, if you play an ordinary move king h8, let me show you the variation, 
then knight c8 will come to target the rook, things will fall in apart, if you capture the rook then queen takes e7 will threat you checkmate in one move, so in this position if you capture the rook then queen takes e7 will come anyway, this is coming so rook g8, it doesn't matter actually because checkmate is unstoppable. So in this position if you play rook d7 to protect your rook, then rook takes rook bishop takes, queen e7 will come to target the rook, and the position will be in the same condition as we talked about it in previous variation, and here you can't capture the knight with queen, because queen takes e7 will come anyway. Follow your heart, listen to your inner voice, stop caring about what others think, so back to the position, alpha 0 prevented it with rook c7, we have knight b6 queen here king a3, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.